2006, whilst topping up my Motorola Razr to buy overpriced polyphonic ringtones, 13 year old me walked into Manchester's flagship as the superstore, armed with a crisp five pound note, mild acne, and a pubescent erection ready to take on the world. Games? No. Music? No. But what's this I see? A bargain bin with cheap DVDs with angry old men walking towards me on the cover like I did something wrong? I just wanna be pure. I close my eyes and take my pick and thank Deirdre, the eight-year-old working the till who didn't deny me what was rightfully mine. Little did she know she needed a cool kid at school. Because after many adverts and warnings popping up on my oversized yet seriously underperforming DVD player, I was greeted with a non-stop, over-the-top, lock-stop actor firing blocks, fucking everyone up all over the shop. With... Frank was a film that was released in the mid 2000s, which means it was one of the many action films that no one had asked for, but people were happy to watch them regardless. Because it was mindless garbage, extremely run of the mill, purpose built to show gunfights and using slower scenes as a way to develop another scenario in which there would be more gunfights. Taken, War, Death. Transporter 1, Transporter 2, Transporter 3, The Bank Job. They're all examples of an era of film that have passed us by, all spearheaded pretty much by the same lead actor, Jason Statham. Jason, do you have any words for us? Fuck off. Not have said it better myself. A tiny budget of 12 million for this film was given to it, and I can honestly say, hand on heart, that 11.9 of it was given to this big bold bastard himself. Because the quality of this film yeah, it was exquisite. Uh, Google Maps, top tier acting. Hey, what do you think you're doing, man? This guy just walk on my car. You name it, it's got it. I don't like actually holding this. <laughs> Plot. Helios, a hitman poisoned by his arch enemy, Ricky Verona, will die with a substance that will kill him. Get this, if he doesn't stop moving. What's this shit has binding with your blood cells? You fucking baby and believe me, it's done binding. The film follows Chelios getting his revenge on Verona whilst fighting to stay alive in crazy ways. So in this film, I am convinced that Jason Statham was having the time of his life because he was either being paid 90% of the budget or he was having the time of his life because he was being paid in cocaine in advance and this is literally just behind the scenes footage of what was happening. The material that they were supposed to record never saw the light of day because it never exists because this, this is it now. Oh, what the... If Jason Statham is the reason why this film is charismatic, then Taylor and Neville Dean are the reason why this film exists at all. We had an actor who was game. You know, Jason was, uh, he's a nutcase. He'll basically do whatever. We'll basically do whatever. So, you know, our whole approach was like, let's put the actors, the cameramen, which was us, and the camera in peril as much as possible, because like, the more dangerous that it really was, the more dangerous it'll feel on screen. From that rather regal humor. A necklace. You guys really are faggots, aren't you? Respect towards equality in women. Take your clothes off. No! And timely, non-offensive representations of minorities. You're not getting in my car, no way! Oh, I'm kind of! I'm kind of! Hey, that's amore. The film feels cheap, but it's in the most endearing way possible. You see, Taylor and Neville Dean specialize in low budget films, and they do this in such a way that it feels grounded and and somewhat story-based and character-based more than anything. Give them a £10 note and they'd come back making a snuff film. So, uh, what more could you want? It provides a look that isn't really seen in high-budget titles, usually taking you out of the action. But this film is just relentless even when there's no violence happening or any action whatsoever. It's cameramen are just chipping away just doing their job, barely capturing the action, shaking like a bunch of shitting dogs in the process. Usually this would make me sick, but in this it's a clever choice as it reflects Chelios' mental state and adds to the immersion that the directors are trying to portray. Or they could all just literally be hammered and rushed to get something into the final edit to appease studio execs because let's be serious for a minute. I swear I wrote something like this in year nine English class in about 10 minutes and I'm fucking salty because 
they receive 42.9 million, a sequel that wasn't good as the first, but still good nonetheless. And all I received was a C grade, a detention, and a hiding from my dad because I was deciding to become an edgy teen at the time using swear words in my homework. I'm fucking dead. In summary, the movie is not perfect. But as a certain Gallagher used to say, true perfection has to be imperfect. But it was one of the first edgy over the top films that I watched and I loved its style. It didn't care what it looked like and it looked like a ton of fun to be a part of. And it also taught me that T posing for dominance is truly the only way to go through life. So technically it's kind of educational in a way. Go watch it. It's a it's a great watch and I'd give it uh Obscure things that live in my head but won't come out because society's moved on and I haven't, which makes me question whether this film exists or it's just a figment of my imagination manifested by the fact that I felt as though I picked the wrong uni degree because it seemed like a good idea at the time, but it isn't really viable for the career choices I actually want to make for the rest of my life. Out of 10. Hi guys, really want to say thank you for the guy who put me on Reddit for no apparent reason, but uh, uh, hi, hi, welcome to all the new subscribers, like, this is kind of insane, that's really cool, I really appreciate it, um, here's my Twitter, here's my Instagram, here, fuck, um, here's my Patreon, um, just do what you want, subscribe, watch another one, it'll be floating around, bye! <laughs>